Yonda, and welcome back to the channel. My name is David. You already know that. How long has it been since I've vlogged? I want to say like four months, I think. Sorry if I look like garbage. I uh, I woke up not too long ago because I'm going to go to Neto studio to shoot some street photography with him because I haven't seen the guy in, I think, about, I want to say three or four months. Like, I saw him briefly a couple weeks ago because he stopped by my work um, in Pasadena. But other than that, I haven't physically hung out with the dude in a few months. Same thing with Manny. Uh, we've all just been so busy. Um, Manny just bought a house and he's currently moving. So congrats, Manny. You are the badass that we all strive to be. Um, and then Neto's just been doing stuff at his studio with his clients because he's been getting really, really busy. And I had an event last night with my mentors in Beverly Hills. And we shot a costume party and that was a lot of fun. Um, and I thought we were going to stay till like... 2 30 because that's initially what we signed up for but they dismissed us at around like um 12 30 because it kind of fizzled out after uh after a lot of people kept having drinks so yay uh, fun times but we still got paid the full amount that we asked so good uh good night's work and we shot everything in jpeg because it was mostly candids um and my mentor was just like, yeah, I just want to just be able to quickly turn this over. So just dial your camera in and just shoot away. So I was like, all right, easy peasy. But yeah, I'm tired from that. Um, but the point of this rambling rant, or not rant, but yeah, this ramble um, is that we've all been busy. So, but today, like I said, we're going to go down to the studio and just do some street photography with Neto um, and just have fun because I haven't hung out with him. And now I'm a Fuji X100V shooter like him. So we're probably gonna spaz out over the X100V and how awesome that camera is. So, let's go. All right, made it to the studio. Gotta make sure my car's locked. Oh man, it's been ages since I've been down here. And I also miss blogging. I think I see the guy coming up like a boss. Oh man, I'm excited to hang out and take some street photos. I haven't been to downtown LA in a minute either just because I always try to come down here with a group of friends just because it's, uh, it's been going through some stuff. Uh, it's not as safe as it used to be. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Is Neto Velasco. What's up, brother? What's up? How are you? Good, man. I haven't seen you ever. You wanna go to the studio or we'll uh, yeah, we just... let's let's go drop this off. Oh okay. Bruh, bruh, is that the X one hundred V? Yeah. I know the... I was telling everybody that that you and I can spaz out about this camera now. Cause... Oh yeah, and I have the white adapter for it right now. I'm thinking of getting the teleconversion. You should. So I have the fifty mil. It's fun. It's yeah. fun, this adapters. And it's so easy to use. They're you know. And is it just... still weather sealed? Yeah. Sweet. Yep. Hell Watch yeah. Watch out. Watch out. Yeah, so what are we gonna go like hit the streets, shoot a little bit? Yeah, man. I mean, I guess we could go around here downtown. I mean, it's a gorgeous day. Yeah, wherever you want, we can walk downtown. Yeah. And uh, I brought a smaller bag because I'm gonna leave this in the studio. Always go and pack light when you're going to go shoot street photography, just because you don't draw as much attention and you make yourself a, a like inconspicuous target. Because people can still target you, but it's just you're gonna have a smaller package to to get jacked. <laughs> All right, it's voiceover time. And also, a quick note: um, I forgot my ND filter for the GoPro, so I had to set it to auto aperture or sorry, auto shutter. And I kind of like the look of it a little bit better. Um, not gonna lie, it looks a lot smoother um, and not as bouncy. I don't know if. If it's because I'm shooting at 148, I, I think I, it, it is because I know like the faster your shutter is, the more motion or the less motion blur you're gonna get. So, uh, but whatever. Uh, I don't stress too much about the GoPro just because it's a GoPro. It's not meant to be cinematic. Um, so yeah, so it's like as long as I can use the footage and make a POV video like this one, I'm more than happy. But uh, yeah, it feels good to be back out on the streets with Neto. I I miss the guy. I I miss my friends. I've just been working too much, and we've all just been working way too much. Um, you know, now that things are, I guess, going in the right direction when it comes to the um, to the pandemic, which is a good sign. Um, you know, I'm happy that things uh, are going in that direction. Uh, just because, 
yeah, like it just I, I I miss the the before times, and so hopefully we could get some semblance of that back. But anywho, um, I'm really 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 enjoying the X100V. Um, lately, I've just been messing around with like different presets. I've been kind of going more for a filmic look for some of my daytime shots. Um, this is a good example. This kind of looks like something like I don't know, like Kodak Gold. Um, just a little bit um just because like i i've never been a fan of like super like saturated and super blue skies in my photos i just don't know why i just don't like the color blue to pop too much in my photos um like that's i guess it's just because i prefer shooting in overcast days where everything's just kind of like grayed out and moody and everything looks consistent i think that's probably why um and uh yeah so i just like to experiment with with my presets so i don't get super blue skies i don't know does anybody else feel like that about uh, about having like blue skies in their photos um because i usually dial back the 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 saturation on the blue to kind of give it almost kind of like a washed out desaturated look um oh, i should have taken a photo of that t'challa uh, um mural that's i didn't even notice that because i was so busy talking with neto Thanks, Neto, your distraction in my life. But yeah, I mean, uh, th that's the thing I like about this camera. It's just like, I just pick it up, I go shoot, I have fun with it. I don't have to think about like the lenses I need to use and all that stuff, um, you know. And uh, Neto and I were actually kind of talking about that earlier today or yesterday when we shot this, when we went to get coffee. Uh, it's kind of like this, this camera puts us in a different mindset. Um, because we both shoot Canon professionally. Um, those are our work cameras. Um, he has an R5 and the EOS R as a backup. I have two R6s in my C70 that I use for photo and video. And when we pick those cameras up, even if I use the R6 like to shoot the intro of this video, I still see it as a tool for work. Um, so some of that fun factor is eliminated, I guess. And it's... Uh, it's hard to kind of like shift gears a little bit into that, um, like just, oh yeah, I picked this camera up for fun. I mean, granted, I go out, I could go out and shoot with it straight, no problem, but it's just like, I'm the, that mindset of it, oh, I picked this up, I'm in work mode is so strong that it's hard to kind of get out of that habit or that mentality. And with the Fuji cameras, and even with when I had the um, X Pro uh, 2 and 3, and now that I have the V, it's a completely different mindset of uh, it's more for like, okay, this is my, you know, for fun slash uh, I'm going to go make content for YouTube camera. Same thing with the GoPro. So uh, my mindset's a lot different. I am not uh, so focused on like, you know, getting like the results that I have, uh, you know, expectations from a client like this is just for me. So if I miss a shot or something like I'm not going to stress out. And so it's just very interesting to think uh, when you put it into that perspective about like what your mindset is when it comes to different cameras or like what camera you use for safe for work and what camera you use for fun. Um, I'm actually kind of curious to see what everyone's philosophy on that is. Uh, so go ahead and comment down below. Let's uh, let's talk some, uh, uh, you know, I guess work ethic. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, like, uh, the, this camera's fun. Like, I don't plan to get rid of it. I know I flipped through so many Fuji cameras and I said I wasn't going to come back, but it's like, I did miss it. I'm not going to lie. I did miss it. Uh, also, this is probably the, my, like, most favorite picture I took, like, throughout um, the entire uh, POV session because uh, it, I don't know, it just, it looks so good. Like, I like the colors I got out of it. I like the, just the way the light was hitting it, the whites pop, everything about it just comes together and it's so good. I actually might print that out. I really like that photo. Uh, but it feels just good to be back in downtown. Um, like I mentioned earlier, uh, it's been, it's been kind of crazy the last um, few months down here in LA, like in terms of like, uh, it, it's sad to, to say that the crime's been going up and whatnot. So, you know, I don't want to go by myself with the camera to, to shoot um, because, you know, I'm a walking target and I'd rather have somebody, even if it's just one other person with me, at least we can watch each other's backs. And I mean, granted, we're both carrying like pocket knives and mace and all that stuff, but 
but still, it's it's better to have a buddy to, to watch your back while you're, say, composing a photo and vice versa. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, it, it's just one of those things where, like, I, I also have my group of friends I like to roll with. So sometimes it does get lonely because I do enjoy walking with people and then just chatting with them about with whatever. <laughs> I know some people are weird about, like, oh, yeah, like, I'm going to I'm going to roam solo because I don't want distractions. I, I think that's just complete BS. Like, it's always funner when you take friends with you to go shoot, especially if they're just into photography and street photography as much as you are or if they have the same camera. Like, Neto and I were just gushing over, like, the X100V, uh, and, like, I actually might get the wide-angle teleconversion lens because um, uh, I could potentially use it as a vlogging camera, so then I won't have to, like, pack my R6 or get, like, a 15-35 to 35 or 14-35 to 35 for a wide-angle or even that 16-millimeter. Um, then, uh, so basically, then my X100V could become my kind of, like all-in-one packaged camera and then I could get the the 50 millimeter conversion lens so I can get a 50 millimeter equivalent field of view because I do miss shooting 50 I'm not gonna lie but I, I I don't know this 35 millimeter lens is just so good for everything I love it I've even shot product photography with it and I think it's fantastic so for this shot right here I'm actually waiting for somebody to cross through because uh, the just the lighting and everything, the way the shadows and the colors looked across the street, I really wanted to get somebody in front of that door. Um, so I kind of waited a, a good second for this gentleman that's on the bottom right hand of the corner to walk through. I think he saw me composing the shot, but he just walked through. He didn't care, which is good because when I like, sh I like shooting shots like this where like, you know, people are walking and there's like some sort of cool background uh, behind them or just the colors and everything pop. And I, I really like the way I edited that photo. I kind of just added a uh, bit of a fade to the mid-tones. Or sorry, not to the mid-tones, to the uh, tone curve. Just to kind of soften it up a little bit because uh, because it was in direct sunlight, the, the colors were a, a bit harsh. But um, it just, ah, man, I forgot how much fun downtown LA is to shoot. Like, I wish... Pasadena had like tall buildings and skyscrapers like we do here in LA because uh, it really uh, it really is uh, a lot of fun like we didn't go too deep into downtown because um, we wanted to go get coffee afterwards and go get some food so we kind of just stuck around like fairly close to the studio but I finally took the X100V to downtown LA so I'm happy but yeah it's just a uh, it's just it feels good to be back doing this with with friends because you know and, and like i mentioned earlier uh, manny just bought a house so like i'm i'm super happy for him like again manny congrats like you are the badass that we all strive to be um and i'm excited to see what kind of you know studio you're gonna end up building in that home because it looks uh like from what you've shown me it looks pretty cool but uh but yeah man it's just it's cool to see like all of my friends kind of like coming up in life a little bit um, you know, with, with, you know, either our businesses or somebody buying a house. I mean, that's just an incredible feat. Uh, so yeah, so things, uh, things are looking up for the Fuji squad, Los Fujis. That's what I call Manny and I because we all shoot Fujifilm. Um, and then I'm probably going to switch to Nikon because I've never shot with Nikon or buy an Olympus because I've never shot with Olympus. I also know I can lie though. That GH6 is pretty cool. Um, I'm kind of bummed that the autofocus is still the same. But I was watching uh, Tyler Stallman's video on it. And he mentioned that it shoots video in a 4x3 aspect ratio. So you get a bit of a taller, um, I think, vertical plane. But the cool thing is it has guidelines. So you could crop it down to like 16x9, which is what typically most cameras shoot. But the cool thing is... You could also shoot it in, you could shoot horizontally, but then crop a vertical image out of it. So if you're shooting, say, something like Instagram uh, reels or TikTok style videos, you could still have plenty of resolution and plenty of height to crop out a vertical image, which is actually kind of cool. And I kind of hope um, more camera companies start doing that in the future, because I think it is pretty, pretty amazing that we're starting to see that feature rolled out into a camera, because... You know, everything's vertical now. It's not uh, horizontal anymore. Like, vertical content is king on Instagram and uh, TikTok. Because uh, I've been pumping out a lot of those TikTok or uh, 
yeah, well, vertical video because I've been doing shorts and I've been getting a lot more viewership and subscribers from it, which is just insane because it's like I don't put too much effort into these um, short videos just because, um, you know, they're especially at least on YouTube, I can't go beyond um, 15 seconds. So I'm very limited in what to what I could post. Um, whereas with like, I think TikTok, you go up to like, I think three minutes and then on Instagram, I could go up to like a minute now. So I don't know. I might start doing like short minute, like one minute vlogs or something like that. I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to play around with it, but I, I do like, um, that it is helping my channel grow. So, but yeah, like, um, yeah, it's just, uh, fun times and you know, I, I'm just, if I sound tired, it's because I am tired. Um, you know, like I mentioned earlier in the video, I, I had an event on Friday in Beverly Hills. It was a um, costume party and it was so much fun, but it was just exhausting because, you know, we were out late and then I had to go to work the next day and yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't had much time to rest. So with that being said, this guy's outfit's awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you found this video entertaining or helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you did not, double tap the dislike button twice. Trust me, it works. And subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hasta luego.